This is the journey to One Africa. Hey everybody, this is Mika and welcome back to Snoa. If you're new to this family, please turn on the notification button, subscribe, follow us on our social media, all the links in the, in the description. But also feel free to support us uh, by using the links in the description. You can use PayPal, you can use Patreon, you can use memberships uh, here on YouTube. Become one of the members to uh, support on what we are doing. But also you can use Super Chat, Super Sticker and Super Thanks to support our move. Guys, I have an update on southern part of africa it says is enduring its worst hunger crisis in decade due to el nino the un says el nino by the way is kind of some sort of rain like a heavy rain that is happening in the southern part of africa and this is what i always say that you know in africa when there's a rain there's a drought i mean there's a hunger when there's no rain there's a hunger um it's crazy that we are blessed with rain, a lot of rain, but we're still struggling with hunger crisis. All right. More than 27 million people in Southern Africa are facing the worst hunger crisis in decades due to El Nino weather phenomena, according to the United Nations Food Agents. The World Food Program cautioned the situation could escalate into the full scale human catastrophe. Lesotho, Malawi, Namibia, Zam Zambia, and Zimbabwe have declared national disaster due to the drought affecting millions and leading to severe crop failures. All right. Um, so let's see here. How has climate change contributed to the hunger crisis in Southern Africa? Climate change has contributed to the hunger crisis in Southern Africa by exacerbating the effects of El Nino induced drought rising global temperatures have led to more frequent and intense drought in the region affecting rain fed agriculture and food security the ongoing drought has caused significant crop failure rising food prices and power blackout in some countries all right guys as i said um you know one thing about africa is that we are always blessed with um uh, rain or sun we, we have both of it but we seem to struggle every time when we have these things and these are not kind of stuff that we struggle only once in a year it actually happened almost every single year um first of all <coughs> i'm sorry first of all it's sad that um uh, our brothers and sisters in the southern part of africa are struggling with drought simply because of the heavy rain that is happening and going on there so i'm sending my um my my thoughts and prayer to our brother there and sisters but all in all i mean there's something has to be done um and especially because when you talk about weather these are kind of stuff that you know before it happened so you know that if we are going to grow grow anything right now then we need to reserve in a way that is not going to be uh is not going to be uh damaged you know the products and not only that nevertheless you know we have a lot of countries in africa and one thing that we could do is actually sharing our resources and when it comes to food if there's one for example one of one of the countries in africa that produce excessive amount of food is tanzania tanzania is one of the countries that have a lot of amount of food and i think this could be one of the ways that we could export uh, to the neighboring countries it's a food market me personally i've already engaged i'm actually in that industry right now producing manufacturing packages packaging and uh, transporting food uh, so uh, I think this is one of the ways that we could stand and support one another if there's one country that actually produces a lot of crops and also uh, it's kind of like friendly weather condition in that country we could use this um, as, as an advantage to other countries that are facing drought or facing um, what can I say they're facing a hunger crisis um, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's one, one of the things that I could say. And uh, if we want to get to that, and if we want to do that, then we definitely need to promote the unit of this continent so that we may have like uh, easy integration between one country and another country and we could do business with one another. But not only that, one another thing that we need is um, the new modern way of um, 
um, reserving the water and the rain that is coming so far, the new modern way of farming in our countries, the new technology, tr- technological way of farming in our countries. Uh, you know, because you know this in Africa, farming or agriculture is the backbone of our economy. Most of the countries in Africa, we believe that. So we need to invest as much as we can in food because that is the beginning of everything. If you want development in our countries, then we need food. If you want better education in our country, then we want food. If we want our kids to succeed in our ed- in their education, then we want food. All right. If we want to survive, to protect this continent from um, bad enemies, both from within and outside, we need food. Like everything else, start with food. Food security is the most important thing in this continent that we need us as Africans. I've been sharing and talking about that for the past five years, and now I'm actually doing it. You know, I'm actually doing it doing it we have opened a company uh, that is dealing with that food as i said manufacturing producing um you know packaging transporting food so this is what the continent need we need to be safe and secured in food to be able to carry on our daily activities so um uh, you know about the drought and about the hunger crisis that is happening all the time in our continent you know hopefully our government will invest much in agriculture uh, and uh, protecting our countries because if we don't have food then we don't have a country if you don't have a country the continent is no longer there all right so we need and, and this is the time that you you see a lot of time that we start receiving donation food donation from the outside and which is something that i oppose with everything that i got you can do not eat what you don't produce that's the reason why we Personally, we opened a company and we started to produce food because I've always been saying this, that you cannot eat what you don't produce. What you have to bring in your stomach, in your mouth, it has to be something you produce by yourself. Otherwise, you can't trust anything that is not, you don't produce. I mean, African. So we decided to take that initiative and we are producing our own food and selling and transporting. So if you're around the continent, you know, you we could actually sell actually to you as well and transporting in any country in the continent. So, yeah, guys, I appreciate for stopping by. Let me know in the comment section, uh, you know, what do you guys think about this news? It has been happening all the time. What do you think is the solution? What do you think African Union should do? What do you think we should do right now to face this hunger crisis that is happening in the southern part of Africa and save our people? More than 27 million people are facing the worst hunger crisis, uh, you know, for in, in the decade. 27 million people is a lot of people it's a lot of people so guys why should we do to save the lives of our 27 million people our brothers and sisters let me know in the comment section i would, I would appreciate it. see you guys